All right, hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to make this update video on the whole Josh Giddy situation because it looks like Morris came out and it also looks like the NBA is doing an investigation on the whole situation. Now for the people who do not know what has been going on with Josh Giddy because you happen to be living under a rock, I do have a video going over everything that I actually posted on Thanksgiving. And if this is the first that you're hearing about this, make sure you go watch that video. But yeah, just to keep it short and simple for now, allegations have came out against Josh Giddy and these allegations are pretty damning. It has been alleged that Josh Giddy was hanging out with a 15 year old high schooler. There have been multiple videos leaked of Josh Giddy saying that he went to the club with this girl and he was going to be taking her back to his place and just things like that. There was even a Snapchat photo where allegedly this minor claimed that they quote unquote fuck Josh Giddy. And yeah, because of all of this, it has put a very big stain on Josh Giddy's reputation. And I know that these are simply just allegations right now, but there are so many people jumping on this like way too early where either they're saying, oh, Josh Giddy is a pet he's a predator, he's a groomer. And it's also like, I can't keep track at this point how many memes and comparisons have been made comparing Carl Malone to Josh Giddy. And I've also seen some other people saying, oh, Josh Giddy is innocent. And the reason why that is, is because, oh, the age of consent in Oklahoma is 16. Like someone dead ass said that. And that argument is flawed because this girl was 15. So it doesn't matter. No state in the United States has an age consent of 15. It's either 16, I think 17 or 18, depending on which state you're in. But regardless of that, what I am trying to say here is why are we jumping so early on this when we don't have all the facts? It is also like we haven't heard every side of the story. So far, we've only heard the alleged side. And that's it because it looks like Josh Giddy is going to be staying silent for now. And he's not going to really be commenting on the situation. Because recently after one of his games, he was in a press conference and they asked him about the allegations. Just take a look. Over the past couple of days, there was some pretty serious allegations. I know nothing is concrete there, but is there anything you can say in this situation? Yeah, I mean, I understand the question, obviously, but um, no, there's no further comment. Yeah, this is a pretty normal thing to see. His lawyers probably told him to be quiet about it. I'm not sure if they're going to be taking legal action if this happens to be false or what's going to happen, but we'll just have to wait to see. Now, the next part of the video, we're going to be talking about a leaked video that was leaked recently. But before we talk about that, do you see this right here? This is a big problem. You want to know why? Because you're probably watching this video right now and you're not subscribed. Like, look at these percentages. Not subscribed, 94.8%. Like, bro, we got to get this to like, I don't even know. We got to get this to like 80% or maybe be like 75 for the time being and the amount of people subscribe 5.2 please help me fix this by hitting that subscribe button i would really appreciate it. oh and uh p.s i post pretty much every day so you're not gonna regret subscribing and originally how i found out about this was somebody in the comments told me there was a video where this girl the alleged 15 year old at the time claimed that she had dated josh and just like the last video i don't want to show this girl's face but i will say this from what that yearbook website showed with the picture of this girl compared to the one that's in this video this leaked video yeah i would have to say myself, they look pretty similar. And if it happens to be true that Josh Giddy actually dated this girl and she actually was 15 and they actually had some sort of sexual contact, there would be a problem with that one way or another. But anyways, I'm going to show the video. In the group chat. Hey guys, I dated Josh. We don't have to talk about it. Yeah, not a really good look for Josh at all. And you would think, well, if Josh didn't do this, if the allegations are false, why wouldn't he come out with a statement like immediately? Like, why wouldn't you want to disprove this? Like, I I understand it takes a little bit of time to put out a statement, but it's been how long? Two, almost three days now? Like something is definitely up. And that's not me directly saying, oh, he's guilty because it's not. These are simply allegations for now. And I definitely want to hear their side to this, but it is awfully suspicious. Now with this video being brought up and everything else being put together with this girl somehow getting into the club at age 15, somehow hooking up with Josh Giddy, who happens to be 21 years old. At the time, he probably was like 20 or something. It has brought up a really interesting speculation. And that happens to be well, how does she get into the nightclub if she's 15? Because you would have to be at least 18 years old to get inside. So some people are thinking that she possibly had a fake ID and was able to get into the club because of it. And some people are saying that Josh Giddy didn't even think to verify the age of this girl who he was hooking up with because they happen to be in a nightclub where it's like, you're supposed to be 18 years old to be in there in the first place. And people have been claiming that he is innocent because he really didn't know that she happened to be 15 years old and she lied about her age. But if this happens to be true, does that actually mean that he is innocent? Like, I know that might probably save his reputation and whatnot, but I'm not really sure how the law is going to feel about that because I've heard of many stories in the past where the girl will lie about her age and then the dude will totally get fucked over by it. He'll get arrested and put on the sex offender registry. And I know that's fucked up and everything.
interesting, especially if the guy did not know. But it's like at the same time, being a legal adult, these are just things that you have to watch. And you have to always verify the ages. Because if you don't and you have sexual contact with a minor, it could go very bad for you. On top of these allegations being made against him. Now, I'm not saying for sure 100% that this is what happened. Because I really don't know if this is what happened 100%. But if this is what happened and he didn't know he was hooking up with a 15 year old, he thought she was over 18, despite the fact that she looks like a high schooler. I don't think he's innocent, but at the same time, I don't think he's a predator or a pedo. And I definitely do not believe that you should be comparing him to Carl Malone, because if this happened the way I said it, he's quite frankly not a pedo or a predator, because he was not actively looking for 15 year old girls, if this is how the situation went. Now, this is all just speculation and whatnot, because I don't know what's true at this point, like their allegations. But yeah, if it happened that way, that's my opinion on it. He might have been just too stupid to verify her age before they hooked up. But yet again, it's just a speculation. Now, I think for the rest of the video, I'm going to be going over your guys' comments from the last video because I sort of just want to see what you guys have to say about the situation, what you guys think. So feel free on this video to leave a comment and I might reply to it in a future video. But yeah, anyways, let's see what people have to say about this. All right, so here's our first comment. 17 to 19 is basically the same thing. Stupid that a 70-year-old can date a 18-year-old, but a 19, not a 17. Well, okay, here's the thing about this. 17 to 19 is not a problem realistically because it's two years. And I know everybody has their own different opinions on this. And depending on where you are, the age of consent is either 16 or 18. So it all really depends. But I really do not think 19 to 17 is such a big deal. But at the same time, the allegations don't say 17 and 19. They say like 15. And this happened last year. So that would make him like what, 19 or 20? I've seen some people saying that he was 21 when this happened, which that is not true because he turned 21 literally last month, October. But yeah, no, I don't think it's stupid that a 70 year old can date a 18 year old either. I mean, when you become a legal adult, I think you should be able to have the freedoms to do something like that if you really want to. Now, of course, in my opinion, I would think that would be like really weird and whatnot, but you know, it's allowed under the law and if people want to do it, they have the freedom too. And who am I to go in and stop them from doing that? Also, here's another thing. It's like in one of these scenarios, we're comparing two adults consenting to a relationship and sex. But in the other case, we're talking about an adult giving consent when the minor might not be able to give consent themselves. Like there clearly is a difference and I don't see why we're comparing this. But anyways, moving on to the next comment. Right or wrong, age of consent is 16 in Oklahoma. We are talking about a very fine line here. Well, all right, let's stop for a second. We don't exactly know where this potentially happened, but from what I'm seeing and where this girl went to school and like the area she lives in, I'm guessing it happened somewhere in California where she lives. And in California, if you were not aware, the age of consent is 18 years old. And I mean, regardless if it happened in Oklahoma or not, like bro, she wasn't even fucking 16. She was 15. So either way, like he's fucked if it turns out this is true. Now here's the last comment. Josh looking crazy in these photos. He looks a lot different in every other photo online. Well, yeah, I can see where you're coming from. And maybe this isn't him. Maybe this is him. I don't know. And this is why I'm not hopping on this and, you know, saying, oh, he's guilty. He did this to a 15 year old or something. No, that I'm not coming on here to do that. And I'm also not coming on here to say that he's innocent because I really don't know that either. And that's why I think the people who are hopping on this like so fast and when the allegations initially came out, I just think they're stupid people. And they're the same types of people who are mindless drones who literally believe everything that they see online. Like, oh, an article comes out about the world is ending tomorrow. Oh no. Then everybody starts believing it and whatnot. Like, yeah, don't hop on this stuff that quick because there is a very high chance that this could be all just either fake, she could possibly not be 15 and be an adult or something like that. And it's just like, you simply do not know. And there are people investigating this already. The NBA is investigating this. I don't really know who else is. So just wait on things like that and wait for Josh Giddy's response on the whole situation. Like literally all you have to do is just do not jump the gun on these things. I know you really want to if you're a Josh Giddy hater, you want him to have his career ripped from him and whatnot, but just chill out. Just wait for the facts to come out. But yeah, anyways, with that being said, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you thought that this was a good video and you liked it, make sure you hit the like button so that the video will get promoted to more people in the algorithm so more people will see it. If you're new to the channel and you happen to like the video, make sure you subscribe because I post pretty much daily and you will not want to miss out on any of my future content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or opinions about anything, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section down below. And yeah, my name is Brion and I will see you in my next video. Peace. Shit it all.